Hey, 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 and welcome back to more Dog's Life. In the last part, I came to and completed. So there, the, 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 the thing does land. Okay. Didn't notice that. Obviously, it doesn't land for very long, though. But I came to and completed the big field. And before I get run over, we're going to go to the chicken farm. And I got that glitch again. But oh well. So that hot air balloon does land. I knew it did. Right. Let's go and talk to him. Glitch. You're not a chicken chaser, are you, boy? Get rid of that flap doodly fox, and I got something for you. Hey, some of my best friends chase chickens. Okay, this is one of the harder missions in Clarksville. The fox is fast. It makes a couple of stupid mistakes at times, but overall it is pretty fast. There's not really any tricks to catch it apart from trying to cut it off. So, um, yeah. It always runs the same route, so... Just memorise the route and try to get in the right position. But yeah, the fox is faster than you, so it's a bit hard to catch it up. I got stuck on the tree there. But if you get stuck, it'll slow down slightly, so... It's not too hard. There, it made a bit of a mistake there, and it... Tricked us a bit. But yeah, this is a new area. This is the chicken farm. This is the last area on this section. I mean, not all the sections in the game are needed or required. As I said in the last part, you you don't need all of the bones in the game to beat the game. And the story doesn't really progress outside the last area of... Well, the first and last area of every area. So... You could totally skip the water mill, the big field, the chicken farm, and just go straight to the village houses, which is where we'll be going in the next part. And then just you could either just head straight through there, or you could get some bones while you're there. And I finally got it. Good. It'll run off. And then go to the city centre, which is the last part of Clarksville. Zippity doo da. I've been after that bushy-tailed bandit since my foxhound just up and disappeared. Take this bone, my friend. You earned it. You hear about the dog nappings round here, fella? Why, there was even an article in the local paper, but I tore it up to use as bedding for my chicken. Can you find it? So pick up your bone, bone. it's your first one here. Live without him. That's number 26. But yeah, the, uh, there's a bit of story progression, but nothing you need to do. They're actually inside these houses. What you need to do is you need to unlock the local dog, and he can fit inside the... the chicken coops, so... That's what we're trying to do here. You can do this one or the orange one what to get the local dog. Aroma. The blue one is like the blue one in the last area. We've got like a time limit to catch them. All. This is I'm a, the a, king of bones. This will be like taking candy from a baby. Yeah, this Three, is a pursuit challenge. Two, one, go. Although this dog doesn't go into the the water, so he's easier to catch. He's not he's not fast either. See, that was really easy. Oh, this is weird. I can't even see my nose. So you've got to head over to the chicken coops, go inside, and pick up the four pieces of the article. The ramps to go up are quite awkward, so uh, you might fail, but it won't take too many tries. See, I'm just trying to get up a ramp. It's really awkward. Just take it slowly and carefully, and you should be all right. Not, not too slowly, obviously. Alright, I got three of them with 15 seconds left. Just heading this one, and there we go. Mission complete. Yep. Says here Clarksville dog napping epidemic spreads to Lake Minnewawa Ski Resort. That's where those creeps took Daisy. 
I hope this keeps you strong. I reckon you might need it. I like how he's. Oh, fantastic. You can cut the newspaper row into complete identical squares. There's another bone in that, um, well, it's an American game store trash can or the garbage or a bin. Bone? Oh, terrific. Jake's got scales, and there's another one on the back of this truck. Simply the best. No, Tina Turner. Alright. Okay, there's also food lying around as usual. Got 29 Whoa. bones now. Putrid. So, I guess. We'll look for some more sense now. Maybe the orange sense. There along the co the, the the coast, not the coast. Oh, and there's a um a bone which is in the ground just here, around where the orange scents are. Gimme, gimme, gimme! And that's our thirtieth bone. Right, so there's one, two, three, four. Oh, I five, just love the smell six, of toe jam in the morning. Seven and. It's there. I still didn't get any pitbulls, that's quite good. I've got more bones than this guy. Time to have a little fun. Three, two, one, go. I don't know why, but in these challenges, the other dog always gets the first move. As in, uh, I guess that's how it's programmed. So there you go. A bone for Jake. That's the other one you could have done. You could have done that one or the pursuit challenge to unlock Jake. To unlock damn the bulldog. I think it's a bulldog. Jake loves bones. There's probably it's probably some specific type, but I don't know what it is. I'm not in the dogs really. Right. Here we go. The first part of this is quite awkward because you've got to jump on the different houses. A lot of the time you won't make it to the other side, so you've got to jump back on from, from below. And then it leads you out, and you've got to just like chase after them. Essence of dead the occasional jump, but once you get outside, they're really easy to catch. There's 10, 11, 12. Jump down and get the bones. Bone delicious. The bone or bones, depending on if you pick the other one up or not. So I guess we'll do the purple scents now. Mm boy, now that's what Jake calls stinky. Because the purple scents is all we can really do right now. I think it's the last thing <laughs> to yummy. do, actually. Too distinct. Remember the ones on the pickup truck. One where the bone was, one on the front. There's one inside the house as well, there's one behind the house. I don't think there's any off where the fox went, I don't think there's anything there. This house is pretty rubbish, I mean, there's like one room, there's no doors. I don't know where he lives in there. Just gonna show there's nothing here. Just that hole where the fox went. I don't know where it goes, but yeah, it's not important. So yeah, I actually, Whoa, you, you've given us feedback on the purple sense. It seems to you that you're not too bothered about if it's sped up or not. I'll only speed it up if it looks like it's going to drag on for a bit, and it might, and if it's going to like put us over. Into a neck and oh, brother, who cut the cheese? Into an unnecessary part because otherwise it's not really worth speeding it up. Remember to get all the scents on this island because you need them all. Whoa, Simple enough. Did something die? Thirty-one. Huh? 
Oh yeah, there's a skunk running around as well, but I don't think it does anything. I think it's just, like, decorative. I don't know if that's the right word to use for an animal, but whatever. So we nearly got them all. This one's the shortest part yet in the Yummy. in the guide. The village houses might be two parts from what I remember, so... It's definitely longer than that, and the city centre is quite short, but it's got a cutscene on the end, so it's probably going to be like the maximum amount of time I'm allowed. We'll see. Gosh, armpits. The last nine should be over here. Mm, stinky smells. Unless it's I've missed what life's all about. Forty-five, forty-six, Careful. four more. Right, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, and fifty. Okay, good. So that's the end. I have now completed the chicken farm. Didn't take too long. I'd recommend doing all these challenges if you're not going for a hundred percent and you just want to beat the game then I'd recommend getting all the bones in the first area and most of them in the next area. Oh yummy. Cause if you get nearly if you get all of them here you end up with like forty nine I think. So yeah. Well anyways that's the end of the chicken farm. So I'll see you in the next part when I head back through the big fields and the farmhouse to go to the next area, the village houses.